Thank you for visiting PianoLessonsForLife.com. My name is Greg. I'm your personal piano professor. We're going to talk about the uh, jazz chord progressions, basically, and a, a good introduction to that would be uh, talking about the 2-5-1 progression. Uh, if you read the lesson, there's a little phone number you can remember that will kind of help you get the start of the feel of jazz chord progressions. That phone number is 473-6251. 473-6251 for jazz progressions, just give, call that number. How that, what that means is uh, the numbers relate or correspond to chord uh, scale tones. And I'm going to use the key of C, always an easy key to see things in, uh, but the four, it, the number is four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. Fourth note, seventh, third, six, two, five, one. And if you did the chords, let's get that going. If you did the chords, it would be F major 7, B e minor 7 flat 5, E minor 7, A minor 7, D minor 7, G and C, G, G7 and C. And those are uh, some jazz chords in the key of C. Of course, uh, you want to learn those progressions in all the keys. There's a good little um, exercise on uh, my lesson on chord progressions. You can hit the link on the page there and it'll give you a great exercise that will help you uh, get this motion under your fingers so it'll be comfortable when you see those chords you'll just bang go right to them okay so remember that number four seven three six two five one now the other thing we're going to talk about is just the two five one part of that because you're going to see that progression just in popular music uh, ballads uh, rock and roll even um, uh, and uh, of course in jazz it's a real prevalent 251. So I chose Satin Doll. Satin Doll was one of the first songs they gave us at school when we were learning um, jazz chord progressions at Berkeley in Boston. So uh, there's a lot of good standards um, that you can use. There's standard jazz uh, progressions that, uh, that really uh, highlight the 251 progression. So anyways, in Satin Doll you can read the chart quite simply, we'll just play the simple uh, simple chords here, but it goes like this, and I'll try and keep it simple. Uh, the 2, 5, and C is D minor to G. 2, 5, and D is E minor to A. And then the melody goes like this to D, which is that one chord, and then a little bit of a tricky little... The melody kind of goes... Uh, uses some sharps and flats there. I use a little turnaround chord. It's a D flat diminished that we play it again. Okay, so now for the bridge section we're going to use a couple more two fives also in the key of F and G. Two five and F is C two I mean, G minor to C to F. Uh, the melody goes like that. G minor to C to F. Okay, then we're going to do 2, 5, and G, which is A minor to D. Okay, that's 2, 5, and G. And then maybe a little turn around, make that an augmented chord, and back to where we were. 2, 5, and C. 2, 5, and D. changes simply for satin doll. Now when you're playing with the band, uh, it's a different story. You've got a guitarist playing, a bass player playing, so you can uh, play a little bit less with your hands. You don't have to spell out all those chords. And in fact, if you do, it may even step on the chords that the uh, guitarist are playing. So you can play a lot less, like you, you almost don't even have to play the five chords. Just the two chords would work. why that works is because that two chord, it, uh, the only difference between the two chord and the five chord is just one note, the bass note. Hear that? Same with the uh, E chord and the A chord. E minus seven, the only difference really would be the bass note because what happens is the E minor chord becomes the upper part of the A We've got the root, fifth, seventh, ninth, and eleventh there. So it makes a jazzy sort of 
sound. And I'll talk more about that, the uh, extensions of chords. That's another element of jazz that you don't find in a lot of rock and roll and country. These ninths and elevenths and thirteenths and flatted ninths, those are all jazzy sort of things. But anyway, so I'm just going to play Sat Doll for you on the piano here, uh, along with my little band. Most jazz arrangements, you play the melody, do a little bit of improvisation, and end with the melody. And that's what we're going to do today. So I hope you enjoy Satin Doll. And uh, let's just get it going here. I'll put my automatic accompaniment on here. And I took a little time to program the bass part and a guitar part in there. So that's what you'll uh, you'll see. Hang on a second. Let me get out of there. Get this thing set up to go. All right, here we go, Satin Doll. someone else do that and uh, if you uh, see something you like that I'm doing go ahead and uh, play around with the uh, play around with that you'll develop your own style with improvisation now all I was using was the pentatonic scales for those keys C pentatonic uh, D pentatonic G and F pentatonic when I was in those keys so uh, there's also a good um, lesson on the website about using those pentatonic scales now I recommend highly if you're going to study uh, jazz chord progressions that you get a copy of the real book. I put a link on the website so you can get the best price at Amazon there on the real book. It's a jazz standard. It's like a Bible for jazz musicians. Uh, if you're going to be a working jazz musician, everybody's got a copy of it. So it's a good idea to get a copy of that too. Plus, like I said, if you go through a lot of the songs in there, you'll be an outstanding jazz guy. So I hope you are all enjoying your uh, journey learning to play. I hope you'll all take the time to ask questions on the website and contact me if you need any uh, help or if you have any suggestions for lessons or, you know, uh, anything like that. Once again, thanks for visiting PianoLessonsForLife.com.